Hey friend, and welcome back to RGD Gaming, the least toxic, most fun community in all gaming. If you ever teed up a game of Wild Rift, got your favorite position, champion wands available, and then somebody does something like this Darius is about to do, and it doesn't have to be specifically a stolen position. It could be a terrible pick for the team comps or something off meta that seems totally off the wall. Well, if this has happened, then this video is going to be for you. I'm going to talk about how you should think about this, what you can do, and also the role of Ego in Wild Rift, which I think actually plays a huge factor in many games and people let their Ego get in the way of their win rates, winning the match, and also you know, enjoying the 15 to 20 minutes that you're going to be playing the game. So in this case, this guy is going to pick Darius as a support, and I message him like, if you're Grandmaster, I would support you because I will switch almost any position. If somebody really wants, you know, whatever role I am, usually it's often ADC, I'll ask them some type of clarifying question, like, are you Grandmaster, did you hit Challenger, and then I'll switch with them. In this case, he was only a Master, and I assume at this point in the season, if you haven't hit Grandmaster, it's likely I'm probably a better ADC, and I don't want to say that arrogantly, but it's just, there's enough time that if you were going to hit Grandmaster, you probably could. There's always a chance that somebody who hadn't played the game, they took a break for whatever it is, or started a new account, and he could just simply say, like, yeah, I'm a challenger, or yeah, this is Smurf, and, you know, I'm happy to switch. And so you see me typing two games in a row, actually, I did this, that um, I was ADC and switch. But let me talk about what you should do in this situation. And you see, what I did was I picked the support. So... Clearly, you know, I was ADC and he just stole my position. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to support this Darius and I'm going to do my best to just win the match. Because what happens here if I pick Kaisa and I have Darius as support? Well, a couple of things. He's going to steal my farm. Like, that's perfectly clear. Somebody who is not concerned about just taking a position like that, playing Darius in bot lane is going to steal your farm and cause problems. So it's going to cost us gold. But instead, what I did was I played Blitz, and I'm going to do my best to support this guy. Now, I do flame him just a little bit, <laughs> which I probably shouldn't even do, but I am a little bit frustrated because this really did happen. Uh, a similar thing happened in the game before. And I know that he's Spanish, because he, or at least he appeared to be Spanish. And... Um, you know, that's about the extent of the flaming that I did. And you see him take a bunch of damage here. And so I am frustrated, which you can tell. But at the same time, I think that's about all that I end up doing as far as flaming him or doing anything other than just supporting him and helping him to try to win. Um, and so here you see he goes down. And now at this point, I think a percentage, something like 10 to 20% of the entire Wild Rift community would just quit. For him to go, you know, and die in the first two minutes. And you can see they probably targeted him, realizing that something weird is happening. So, unless this guy is just a straight one-trick Darius and really good, something weird's happening. And they also saw that I switched positions with him. So, they can maybe imagine that he is doing something funny, and they're coming after him in order to kill him. He's also doing that, you know, himself no favors, just running in and you know taking all the damage that he is but this is okay so what I want you to do is realize that this happens somewhat regularly unfortunately in Wild Rift right now and there's not a whole lot we can do about it but just work with it um, a lot of people let their ego get in the way of whether they're gonna win or lose and now I'm not telling you that we won this match necessarily or that we lost it because I want you to hang around and at least till the end to see what happens. But quite frankly, I feel like we have a chance. Well, I wish we had an ADC, we don't. Um, and you see even there, I didn't even try to steal the kill. Um, so I actually want him to get fed because, well, I, I don't think he's playing that well and, you know, whatever. A fed Darius or a Darius with some gold can do a ton of damage if somebody's going to just at least try a little bit, even if they're going to make some bad decisions, um, which happens from time to time. So you can see, like, I'm using all my support items on them. And so what I was saying is you need to just lower your ego, 
play the game and not get hung up on yourself and what you think the game should be. Um, you know, this, again, it's really dumb what this Darius is doing, but as long as we can play like a team, we have a okay team comp, and we'll be able to win the match or at least have a chance at it. Um, so in this situation, I didn't want to grab the Alistair, but <laughs> he unfortunately was the one that I got through the pick because he was standing there. And it actually ended up working out really well. I got the Elister out of there, and our jungle comes through with a really good gank. And unfortunately, I steal that kill, which I didn't mean to do, but I wanted to ensure that we got it. And sometimes it's a delicate balance between stealing kills and uh, helping your team get them. But there's another one. So now we have our Aatrox is doing well, stole Dragon, and... Like I said, we have a real chance at winning this match. And even though Darius is going to do weird stuff for the entire game, uh, we're going to just play support. And as soon as the laning phase is over, I I guess I don't even care anymore really at that point that he picked a Darius, other than the fact that I would rather have the game in my hands and be able to carry as the ADC. Um, I actually did a little bit more, I don't know, I don't know if you noticed, but I did a little bit more speeding up just to make it even faster during those um, time. Oh, you saw that? All right, so something I don't think people realize is how far the Blitz pull can go. Uh, don't be afraid when you're playing Blitz to go a little bit on their tower if you have a 2v1, especially in a situation where you have a Darius and a Jinx, because I can grab them. Jinx can throw the choppers out, but it won't matter because then Darius can pull him in. And then as soon as we get him and I knock him up and silence him, he, he's pretty much dead. Uh, but uh, as I was saying, I did a, a speed up where I actually went even faster now through the dull periods where I'm just kind of running around not doing too much. And I think we need to back off here actually. We're, we're four versus three. We kind of need to get out of here. And I get sniped by the Lux, which was a good snipe. You actually see if you watch the match, there's multiple snipes by the Lux that um, are pretty good. Um, that one right there. There's at least one other one on me that is pretty exciting, actually. Uh, so stick around to see that. Uh, but she does a good job of using her ultimate. And here, this is a funny invade. Uh, more than anything, I was trying to just screw up him clearing the jungle, but this will end up working out because we're able to collapse, and let's see if we can twist it, fake can get the Jinx, and they do a great job. Unfortunately, I, I kill steal again, and uh, I really didn't mean to do that, but that fight was so tight that if that Jinx gets either of us, like if either of us goes down, he, he definitely gets a double kill. I don't know if you saw it real fast there. There was a, the Lux snipe got me down to 1 HP right there. So that was a fast one that you had, you had to be quick on it or you could rewind and turn the thing down to slow-mo to see it. But it was a pretty fast snipe that she had on me. Um, and so, like I said, at this point, we're actually a little bit ahead. Our team comp is really good for fighting. Our Aatrox is strong. And there's literally no reason why I needed to run this down, run it as Kai'Sa. And there was another snipe by Lux that was good. It was right into the heart of it. Got me down to 1 HP, and unfortunately for her, it just wasn't enough to get the kill. So, what am I saying here? What is the point that I'm trying to get across? Your ego can't be the reason you lose games. Shouldn't be the reason you lose games. I know that most people want to get mad at Darius, and obviously I was a little bit upset considering I, you know, typed a couple things in the chat there. But at this point, we're all just playing. We have a very winnable game. Darius is now getting kills, so he's obviously, you know, trying to some extent. Lux sniped him, though. Which is good job, Lux. And you want to just keep that in mind like this doesn't apply just to somebody stealing a position this applies to a decision somebody makes uh, how they play a team fight how they do the laning phase because there's a couple of things that happen so first off people just make bad plays it happens i make bad plays you do everybody does things that are just like a little bit off sometimes then there's people who just think about the game differently so you might have 
a solo laner that thinks getting first tower is the most important thing. You might have a solo laner that thinks getting dragons the first thing. So some rotate, some don't. Um, some go based off of the situation at hand, and that's probably the best way is to be fluid about it and kind of decide based on what's actually happening in the match. This was a tough decision for them because they were doing a lot of fighting right under our tower and I was able to land a couple of hooks. I was really fortunate that I hit a couple of hooks there and get them back into bad positions where they didn't want to be. But like I was saying, you know, you want to be fluid here. Twisted Fate, who is the mid, ends up in top and we're able to get a favorable team fight and now he can just push that down. And meanwhile, we've got Dragon up. And so we should take Dragon, he should push the inhibitor, and that's a good fluid decision I was talking about. Some people get stuck in their ways where they just like, I just need to keep running it down lane, I need to keep running it down lane. On the flip side, some people rotate way too much and they're not catching waves and they're falling behind in gold because they're not catching waves. So you want to be able to think about each match individually and handle each match as an individual, not just have a set way that you're, oh, I'm going to go in, and this is exactly how I'm going to play, and I'm going to do this, this, and this. Unfortunately, Wild Rift is a fluid game, and so what the enemy team does causes you to make different decisions. Totally whipped on my hook there, unfortunately, but let's see if we can get a good fight, able to get a good silence off of three of them. We get one, two, let's see if we can get them again. Alistair running, able to get a hook, and we get a kill. And so that was another bolt, another good fight for us. Oh. And we get four of them. Let's see if we're able to end here. And we are. Okay, so what is the message of this game? If somebody steals a position, you don't need to AFK, you don't need to quit. Just play the game to the best of your ability. If you can fill in the position that your team needs, that's what you really should be doing. And then what you're going to want to do is just report them after. I know the reporting system sucks. It's not great. I honestly don't know if it works at all. It probably just goes to the trash bin at Riot or, or wherever. But do what you can. Report people when they're doing things they shouldn't be doing. Play the game to win. Don't play just to play and don't play angry you're better than that you be the bigger person because obviously this person is immature or something's going on you know who knows what's going on in their actual life so play the game well you win more games and rather than take an L here I get a win and I get to move on and I'm not nearly as mad because I won this match hopefully I see you on the rift GG